hello folks so in this video i am going to talk about categor ca categorical categorical form of bivariate analysis um, so in order to explain um, categorical categorical variable analysis i will be covering chi square test and stacked bar chart so chi square test is a statistical form and uh, stacked bar chart is a visualization form of uh, categorical categorical bivariate analysis uh, please note that uh, here there is uh, some mathematics involved when performing chi-square test uh, but believe me uh, you won't find it complex I will, as I will explain it in a step-by-step -step manner okay so please see uh, the video till the end so that you can master this uh, this kind of statistical method of doing bivariate analysis of categorical categorical variable using chi-square method and uh the visualization technique as well okay so folks this is nitin who is on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence big data hadoop cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world and with the same i am creating the associated content and publishing it on the periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies and you can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of 21st century you can also follow me on twitter at the link given above uh, and i have also added uh, subtitles uh, in the languages like uh, hindi english and french for your convenience so you can enable them as per your needs just like i have given it above all right so I will, uh, what I'm going to explain here is, so let's, let me uh, open this diagram once again. So previously I discussed about numerical, numerical uh, bivariate analysis where I explained scatter plot correlation as well as scatter plot matrix. Now in this particular uh, video, I'm covering categorical, categorical uh, bivariate analysis where I will be explaining chi-square test as well as uh, the bar chart or rather stacked bar chart okay so let's move on uh, let me open my jupyter notebook so here is the jupyter notebook okay so this is the categorical categorical variable analysis and um, here uh, uh, let me explain this bar chart uh, to you as uh, you know a uh, so basically, uh, the stacked bar chart, uh, also known as stacked bar graph, is a graph that is used to break down and compare parts of a whole. Okay, so you can see here, the, there are two parts of one whole, okay, whole value. So here also, two parts of one whole value, right? So each bar in the chart uh, represents a whole, as I mentioned here or shown here okay and segments in this bar uh, represents different parts or categories of that whole so these segments one segment is green and one segment is blue okay and different colors are used to illustrate the different categories in the bar okay so one category is blue another category is uh, green okay so i am using two colors uh, for this okay so th the way it is uh, shown as a categorical categorical variable is that we we know that uh, this species column is categorical in nature because it has three categories now each of these categories again has uh, uh, two categories one is blue uh, color and another one is green colors okay so what i have done here is i have added one more column called colors in iris data set let me show you so in this iris data set i added this new column which depicts the color of a flower okay so blue color and green color okay blue color and green green color for setosa and then again blue color for versicolor and then green color for versicolor and similarly i have done uh, i have created blue color or assigned blue color and uh, green color to virginica as well so in a nutshell what i have done is for each species i have uh, uh, you know separated uh, each species further into colors 
by assigning a blue color uh, category and green color category for each individual species okay so in a way these two are categorical these two variables are categorical in nature that's why it is categorical categorical type of analysis okay so let me open my uh, jupyter notebook once again so here uh, what i'm doing is so uh, as i mentioned earlier i am just i have just added one more column in the iris data set from my site okay and i'm reading that uh, csv file the separate csv file and created a, a separate data frame called df2 now this is a variable which stores the df uh, data frame value and i am kind of grouping uh the data on the basis of color and species okay and again i'm resetting the index okay and uh, kind of a creating pivot based on columns color and index species okay and after that i am plotting this stacked bar chart wherein x x value depicts the df dot plot index and what kind of uh, this particular argument kind depicts nothing but bar or bar chart okay and if we want to make it a stacked chart then in that case i need to um, make this particular argument value which is stacked as true okay so that that's what i have done here okay so this is the visual form of uh, categorical categorical bar chart okay so from this plot uh, uh, or categorical categorical type of bivariate analysis so from this plot you can uh, see that uh, you know or we can figure out that setosa has uh, round about 68% okay so 30 uh, this is between 30 and 40 so it round about 34 so 34 into 2 is 68 so 68% blue colors and 32% green colors okay green color flowers in case of versicolor uh, we have 64% of blue flowers and 36% uh, of green flowers in case of virginica we have 24% of blue flowers and 76% of green flowers okay so this is one way we could uh, do categorical categorical bivariate analysis now another method of doing bivariate analysis is a statistical form which is chi square test and in chi square test we determine the association between categorical variables okay and through chi square test we uh, generally try to determine the difference between observed frequency and expected frequency so let me open one excel sheet where i have done all the calculation so here i have done this calculation okay so what we do is we uh, through this chi square test we try to determine the difference between observed frequency and expected frequency in one or more categories in frequency table and it returns a probability which is this probability here okay uh, it returns probability for the computed chi square so here i have computed chi square here this this is the chi square value based on this chi square uh, there comes a probability value okay and uh, this also returns the degree of freedom so we have created uh, you know calculated the degree of freedom here so as we know that probability ranges from 0 to 1 so a probability of 1 means that two categorical variables are completely independent and probability of 0 means that two categorical variables are completely dependent so here it is close to 0 okay so since it is the value or the probability is close to zero then it means that there is a dependency or relationship between flower type and flower color i am going to explain it in detail now so first let's create a frequency table for the categories given here here uh, we have three types of flowers called setosa virginica versicolor and uh, you can see here so setosa versi virginica and ver uh, versicola and uh, for each of them uh, we are having two colors blue 
and green right now we need to find out if there is a significant dependency or relationship between the uh, flower type which is this satosa virginica and versicolor and flower color which is this so we are trying to find out if there is a significant relationship between these two the type and the color of the flower okay so let me uh, open my jupyter notebook once again so here you can see that uh, i have used the cross tab right so this is a pandas data frame uh, method called cross tab and cross tab uh, i have created for species column and color column okay so when i created this cross tab i came up, uh, came up with this frequency table so the values given here for each cell that is 34 16 um, 32 18 um, 12 38 are observed values these are observed values okay and uh, we need to find out the expected values for each cell first okay so these are observed values and we need to find out the uh, expected values for each cell okay so how are we doing that so we are calculating the expected value here so the way we do it uh, the way we calculate the uh, expected value is we basically multiply we multiply uh, so if you see this cell calculation here so what we do is for this particular expected value we are and this is the cell value right 34 so we multiply this value with this one and divided by this one so 50 multiplied by 78 divided by 150 okay so when we do that we come up with 26 now let's calculate for this one which is 16 so for 16 it will be 50 multiplied by 72 divided by 150 again okay and for 32 again it will be 50 multiplied by 78 because 32 uh, we are having this so we see the row and the column so and uh, how are we coming up with these values so we have i have already showed you right the cross step so if you add up these values 34 16 it will come 50 32 and 18 also 50 12 and 38 is also 50 and if you add these value it's 78 this will come as 72 and that if you add all the values it will be 150 okay so for this cell you multiply 50 with 78 and divided by 150 so it will come as 26 and so on so you calculate it like this now this is the one part okay so from the observed values you calculated the expected values first and uh, if you see the number one step here it says that multiplies the sum of rows with sum of columns so this is the sum of rows and we are multiplying it with the sum of columns which is this okay so that uh, in the you know uh, verbiage form if you want to uh, you know uh, understand then this is the number one step which is multiply sum of rows which is this with the sum of column and divided it by overall sum okay and this we do it for each and every cell so again for this cell uh, we uh, pick the sum of rows which is this and the sum of column which is this and multiply it by uh, sorry divided it by 150 and we do this activity for each cell okay second step is calculate the square of difference between observed and expected value and divide, divided it by expected value so here if you see this is the calculation right calculate the square of difference between observed and expected value and divide divided it by expected so in mathematical form it, it is uh, so I have created the square of difference between observed and expected so what was the observed it was 34 expected was 26 so I subtracted 26 from 34 
and then I squared that difference and then I divided it by the expected value which was 26 again okay. okay so that way it the calculation came as this one okay so this one this calculation and similarly we calculate it for each and every cell okay same calculation uh, square of difference between observed and the expected value and dividing it by expected value so we do this for each and every cell and then after that once the value is calculated for all the cells then we add up all these values cell values so when i added up all these values right it came as 23.71 here you can see here also down here 23.71 so it came as 23.74 So this is our chi-square value. So when we added all these cell values, it the number which came was chi-square value. So 23.71 is the chi-square value. <clears throat> and the way we calculate the degree of freedom is uh, r minus 1 multiplied by c minus 1. So r is nothing but number of rows, c is nothing but number of columns. So we have number of rows are 3, okay, and number of columns are 2. That's why 3 minus 1 into 2 minus 1, which came as 2. So degree of freedom here is 2. Okay. So the next step is to look up the chi-square value, which is 23.71, uh, with corresponding degree of freedom in the chi-square table to get the probability value. So this is the link. This is the link uh, uh, where we can uh, see the values. The uh, probability value we can calculate okay so what was our chi-square value it was 23.71 so you can mention so this is the uh, it is kind of we are looking into chi-square table okay so this step says that look up the chi-square value with corresponding degree of freedom in chi-square table in, to find out the probability value so that's what we are doing here and if you see the probability came as 0 0.0000071 okay which is here 7103 7103 which is equivalent to 0 only right so you can see 0 0.000000 is almost nil or 0 so this particular probability suggests that and as I mentioned earlier, if the value is closer to zero, then it means that there is a dependency or relationship between flower type and flower color. So since the value is close to zero, then it means that uh, that there is a dependency or relationship between flower type and flower color. Okay. So folks, this is the way to calculate the chi-square uh, or do the bivariate analysis using chi-square. So folks, uh, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained the categorical categorical type of bivariate analysis. That is, explained the stacked bar chart uh, to show relationship between two category, categories in terms of parts versus whole. Also explained a uh, chi-square test to determine the association between categorical variables. So folks, uh, please share your comments in the comment section given below if you are liking the statistics related content here. And if you are watching this video and you are all, all, uh, not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release the new video. So thanks for hanging out with us guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.